Hello, this is the second video of the basic programming in Python lecture. And this video will be concerned with basic operators. Um, so how do you do mathematical computations in Python and how do you compare different values? We will start with um, basic numerical operators. Um, and for this example, we define two variables. We have a equals two and b equals three. These are integers. And then we have just a list of statements showing you the different operators uh, there are in Python. And first we have a simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, then something that is not present in every programming language is potentiation. And here we have a to the power of b, where the second um, part of this operator is the exponent and the first part is the base. Um, yeah, and be sure to not confuse that with the caret symbol. Uh, the caret uh, is a bitwise XOR in Python, so if you would write a caret b, this would not fail, this would not be a syntax error, but it will not give you the, um, the potentiation as you might expect from, from normal writing, but it will be a bitwise XOR. So for potentiation, make sure to use the double um, star. Then we have uh, division. Um, this division will return a float. So if we, even if we use two integers in the division, it will still return a float. And um, this changed from Python 2 to 3. So Python 2 returns uh, um, an integer if you divide two integers. And it will just uh, round down. So it will remove the decimal places from this um, from the result. Whereas in Python 3, it actually just returns the float um, as yeah you would expect, I guess. If you divide 2 by 3, um, you want to have the float and not just uh, 0. But if you do want the zero, um, if you just want an integer from a, a division of integers, you can use the floor division in Python. Um, the operator is the two slashes. And if you use this, it will use um, the division from Python 2, basically, which is, um, yeah, if you have two integers, it will take the float result and remove the decimal places. Then finally, we have the modulo operator which just returns the remainder of a division. This is also very common in um, many programming languages. Yeah, and if we execute this, we can just see the results of these operators. Um, and yeah, as I said, we have a float for the simple division and a zero for the double slashes, for, so for the floor division. And here again, just to show you, um, the types of A and B are integers, and if we just use the normal slash, so the division, we will get a float as a result. Um, all right, so next up, we can also combine these operators with assignments. So we can use um, the operators to modify a variable and assign the new value to this variable um, in the same step. And here we use a plus equals to say a equals a plus one. So it will um, basically do this internally. And um, yeah, we'll just translate it internally can do this with all the operators and um, this will also work for example with a times equals one um, or times equals three uh, they just write the star and then equals so yeah this adds one to a a was defined as two in the beginning and now a is three because we said a plus equals a uh, plus equals one sorry then we can also use operators with strings and um, in this case we use the plus to add the two strings hello and world and this will just do a simple concatenation without adding anything um, like maybe you could assume it would add a space but it will just take these two strings and add them together so the result will be hello world uh, without any spaces and uh, yeah to add a space you would have to modify one of the strings or add another string in the middle and add a plus um, to concatenate that as well then we can also use the multiplication with strings. And what multiplication will do is just take the string and repeat it as many times as stated in the multiplication. Um, but this will only work with integers. So you can't use um, floating numbers, floating point numbers to multiply strings. Uh, this will not work. Uh, this will also not work with division. So this is not defined. Um, it wouldn't make sense to divide a string by some number. This will just give you a type error and it will tell you that um, for the operand division string and integer are not um, 
are not working. So you can't divide a string by an integer. And as I said, this also doesn't work for floating point numbers. Um, yeah, you can't multiply a string with a float. Then um, we have different kind of operators. We have um, Boolean operators, which take two values and um, return a Boolean depending on um, what was evaluated using this ap operator. Um, we have again A and B. They have, uh, they have the values 2 and 3 again. And here we have some um, Boolean operators, which are also very common in um, many programming languages. Um, yeah, and it's quite simple. Um, you have A is larger than B, A is larger than or equal to B, A is the same as B, um, so you have to use the double equals um, because the single equals is just an assignment and if you use the double equal sign then it will compare the two values and return true if they're the same and false if they're not the same. Then you have not equals, so the exclamation mark equals, uh, we just take the value of equals and negate that. You have the smaller than and the smaller equals. Yeah, I guess pretty easy. This would just return booleans, um, as you see here in the print. Um, yeah, and you can also take these uh, boolean operators and assign the result of them to a variable. So here we use one is larger than three and take the result and assign that to A. So A will have the value um, that was evaluated from one is larger than three, which is false, because one is not larger than three. Then in the second line, we use the double equals, so we compare 3 to 3. And if 3 is equal to 3, then we assign true to B, otherwise it will be false. But 3 equals 3, so B will be true. Then we also have um, some operators to compare different booleans together. Um, namely, ha namely, we have the OR and the AND, which both use two different booleans. And the OR, just as it sounds, will um, take uh, will return true if one of them is true or both um, and the and will return only true if both of them are true. Then we ha also have the not. The not just takes one boolean and yeah it will just negate so true becomes false and false becomes true and yeah I guess this is also very easy um, yeah and you can see for yourself if these values make sense they will make sense um, I can tell you that but um, get a little bit to get familiar with um, what these operators do, but I guess most of them should be clear already. Um, other programming languages use different symbols for these OR and NOT. Um, Java and C++, for example, use a double ampersand for an AND um, and a double pipe for an OR. These are also defined in Python, and um, you have a single pipe here, for example, or a single ampersand. Um, which do the same thing when comparing booleans, but be careful because they do something different when you work on numbers. So if you have numbers and use these uh, single pipe or single ampersand um, operators, it will work on a binary level and will compare the single bits of this um, number. Um, so it will take an OR of every single bit of the two numbers or an AND of every single bit of these numbers. So yeah. To be sure, just use the OR and AND NOT. So just the literal words um, for comparing. Then we also have the IS operator. IS will check if two objects are identical. And identical in this case means that they actually share the same space in computer memory. And if you modify one of them, then the other one will be modified as well. And yeah. For example, if we check if A is B, this will be false because A is not B. We saw here um, that A will be false and B will be true. And you can already see in the value that they're not the same. So they will also not be the same object. Then we have A is A and A will be A. So that's just very trivial. Um, so this will be true. And then we assign B to A and check if A is B after that. And this should be true as well, because if we say that B equals A, then it will take the two objects. Um, it, it will just make one object. It will just have one object and um, have both variables pointing to the same object. So here, if we execute this, 
a is b is false, then a is a is true, and after the assignment of a to b, a is b is also true. And what is does in the uh, internally is check if the two IDs of uh, variables are the same. And for that it uses the ID function, and the ID function returns um, a long, pretty much random number for every uh, variable, and this number is unique for every variable in this um, program. So two variables that don't point to the same um, object will have different uh, IDs. And if we execute this, I will get two long numbers, and in this case they're the same because we said b equals a, but if b were not a, then these numbers would be different. Um, and yeah, if, we, if you execute this, these numbers will be different as well because this depends on the computer and um, on the, the time of running. Okay, and then lastly we have an exercise again. And I would like you to um, formulate this comparison in code, in Python code. And I have this solution here. And um, there will be a pop-up again, which asks you to just write some Python code and um, do this comparison. Um, yeah, and after the question, I will show the solution. So this question should be there now. All right, and now I will paste the solution in. And here you can just see for the first part, we add these numbers together. So we have 4.63 plus 6.49, and then the double uh, star symbol with the three, which just means um, take the first thing to the power of three. And we of course have the greater sign um, from this comparison. And then we just do a modulo um, of these two numbers and divide the result by three. So this should be pretty simple. The result is true. so. This is actually a true expression. All right.